All right, welcome back everybody. Ryan here once again. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about the ongoing supply situation uh, as far as uh, parts and trucking and all that stuff goes. Um, so I know we did a video roughly a week, week and a half ago about the uh, part situation, which seems to be getting worse by the day and it's kind of trickling down to, you know, kind of common stuff such as brake shoes and and et cetera, you know, we, we, like I said, we talked about that earlier. Um, so today I want to talk about the next thing that I see coming here and, and kind of, I'll give you the whole series of events that have brought me to this conclusion and, uh, and we'll go from there. So we're getting more business lately, uh, more volume. And so I, I've looked into getting bulk oil, you know, 55 gallon drums. Uh, I, I used to, I mean, with people I've worked for in the past, I mean, I used to be able to get 55 gallon drums of uh, Mobile Delvac or Rotella. You know, usually you get bulk prices cheaper than what you pay per gallon with a one gallon or a five gallon, two and a half gallon, et cetera. Uh, so, I mean, I think the last time I bought Mobile Delvac uh, in a drum, you know, two years ago or something, it was down to like seven fifty, eight dollars $8 a gallon roughly. Um, which, you know, when you buy it in the store, like at Walmart, uh, as of lately, um, you used to be able to get the Mobile Delvac 1540 conventional uh, for roughly $10, $11 a gallon, um, 55 or five gallon bucket for around 60 bucks or something. So <clears throat> called up my uh, local supplier. We just opened an account with them and want to get pricing for 55 gallon drum antifreeze, 55 gallon oil, and some other products that I've needed, uh, some five gallon pails of a uh, 50 weight synthetic for transmissions, uh, 90 weight, uh, et cetera, you know, some other stuff too, which I don't have the whole list of things that I bought off the top of my head. Uh, so at first when I went to, when I talked to the sales rep, I told him, I was like, yeah, I'm on, like, I'm trying to kind of cut my cost and, you know, maybe I can make a little bit of a commission on the side, um, then still save my customers money by going bulk. And he's like, act kind of weird and like, yeah, man, your uh, things have changed a lot here, like in the last month or so. And the prices went up and I'm like, okay, this guy's just trying to upsell me or whatever. Uh, so he sent me a price list and for, for a 55 gallon drum of mobile Delvac, it was like $860, $860, which came out to a little over $15 a gallon. And, I'm, and, and also had Rotella, Rotella was like $10 more. So they were basically the same price. So like 15, a little over 15 bucks a gallon uh, for, for the T4 1540 Rotella and for Mobile Delvac Super 1300, 1300 Super, um, over $15 a gallon. I kind of back, I was like, dude, I, I, I could buy this stuff. I can go to Walmart and try to supply or whatever. And I can buy the gallon jugs, you know, for a couple of dollars less per gallon. And, and again, he kind of acted weird. He's like, yeah, you're not going to be able to, that might happen right now. But uh, like I said, it's been a couple, it's been a few weeks since I bought bottle oil. So um, I hadn't, hadn't bought anything recently. Um, so I kind of wrote it off and I went with their, they had a cheaper uh, Starfire five-star brand, which is a, it's a good oil. Um, some of the people I've worked for in the past have used it. And I paid like five, almost 600 bucks for a 55 gallon drum of that, which is a 1540 synthetic blend, which if you didn't know, even conventional oils these days are still basically a synthetic blend for the most part. They do have synthetic materials. Um, but the main thing, if you're buying like off-brand oil or whatever, the main thing to keep in mind is you have that, uh, that CK4 rating, API CK4 ratings, you know, for the ash content and all that for your emission system. And two, uh, that it's not re-refined because they'll take used oil and they can re-refine it where they'll take all the additives out of it somehow and they'll reuse those additives and put in the new oil, which I don't want re-refined oil. I want all virgin material myself. So, um, so that's one thing to look at when you're buying like the store brand oils, look on the back of it. If it says re-refined content or whatever, I'd stay away from that. And I want all new virgin additives and materials in my oils. Uh, so, so anyways, I went ahead and bought that and I paid right about $10 a gallon basically for, for good off-brand oil for the most part. Um, so after I'd purchased that and some other products from them, I was down at my 
Napa Truck Store, which I have an account at now. Um, do a lot of business with them down here at Gilcrest, uh, Gilcrest Road down in Akron, and the gentleman owns a couple other Napa stores around our area too. So, so it kind of works out well for delivering all that. So uh, this happened to be down there, and, and I'm over here in another conversation where guys in there looking for T5 Rotella, and they're telling them we don't have any, and you're not going to get any because we can't get any right now. So okay, so I heard it from my this distributor that I'm dealing with. They said uh, it's going to be a problem. You know, normally, if I hear it from one source, okay, but then when I start hearing it more and more places, and that's when it kind of makes it more relevant. I mean, if you go to Walmart and are sold out of something, and you can go to three other places and they have it, then it's not a problem. But if you're going everywhere, you know, if you're going to three or four or five different vendors or suppliers, stores, whatever, and they don't have it, then it it's kind of comes to light that it's more of a problem, and that's when it comes more relevant to me. Um, so if you guys... Last week or a week and a half ago, there was this deal about this fuel shortage thing, which uh, I I called around. I mean, I'm not driving anymore, um, but I had a guy here that is a driver. I did some work on his one box on his Freightliner, and uh, he actually called up here in the Loves, and I guess they were basically like, what are you talking about? I mean, so I know there was some other people out there talking, like jumping on this bandwagon, this huge fuel shortage across the country. Then um, you know how a truck truck drivers are, you know, um, like to tell stories and, and all that. So it's like one person says something and you got a thousand other people that are going to jump on board and get everybody riled up and all that. Uh, so as far as I know, I don't know, I heard something about maybe if Pilot Flying J, some distribution deal that issue or something that they had, or delivery issue. But as far as, uh, I said, I'm not going to jump on a bandwagon and ride the wave to, you know, and do fake news basically to get YouTube views to excel myself. That's not what we're about here. So, um, so that's why I know we had some people asking about our views and stuff on that. But uh, like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump on a fake news bandwagon and all that just to to get YouTube views. Uh, so, anyways, where was that? So, anyways, so we was at Napa. Uh, he was telling me like, yeah, dude, you're not gonna be able to buy this one gallon stuff, five gallon stuff anymore. Um, when you do get it, it's the prices are gonna go drastically up. So anyways, I was like, well, I was just down at Tractor Supply like two weeks ago and they had like all this Rotella two and a half gallons for 34 bucks or something. So I was like, I'm going to go down there and buy every bit of that. So I go down there two days ago, their name brand oil, that whole front end rack, I bet you there had to be 20 two and a half gallon jugs, you know, bigger than these, a two and a half gallons that they had for 34 bucks on that end cap. The lady was out there when I was there the other day, she was out there stocking them. The whole end cap was full. Like I said, at least 20 of them, completely gone. Go back to the, the oil aisle, everything. All the name brand oil, Mobile Delvac, Chevron, Rotella, T4, T5, T6, gone. Completely cleaned out. Five-gallon buckets, one-gallon buckets, two-and-a-half buckets, gone. Um, only thing left was like their, you know, they had oil, but it was like their tractor supply brand, um, whatever they're selling these days, which is... I actually just got a letter in the mail with a class action lawsuit um, about their selling like some of their tractor oils, the 303, John Deere 303 oil, whatever, they uh, using like stuff out of transformers and everything else. So I'm a little uh, skeptical of buying the, or the, the tractor supply brand oil and some of the other store brands. But uh, so, uh, so that's three different places that I went to here in the local area and I'm seeing issues, and I haven't checked out Walmart, but I actually had a customer come up here about two weeks ago, week and a half, two weeks ago, and he was going to pick up some, some Delvac uh, to bring up with him, and I guess he, I can't remember if he didn't, if, I think he said maybe they didn't have them, or somebody else was telling me that they, they were supposed to, anyways, it, so much stuff goes through here, but somebody was supposed to bring me some, then they stopped at Walmart or something and said they didn't have any um, at the mobile Delvac, so... Um, so I think that's going to be the next, I mean, from what I'm hearing, especially at least with the name brands, I think there's going to be issues somehow for some reason, which makes no sense to me, um, but the, it just is what it is. So um, if it were me, and, and also, sorry, um, one other point I forgot here, uh, the grease, uh, when they dropped off my 55-gallon drums out here the other day from uh, what we just purchased, uh, the guy was telling me, I was like, have you guys had any trouble or anything? He's like, no, with like the, the off-brand stuff that I bought, they've had good luck at it. I mean, the mobile Delvac and all that's been, you know, hit or miss. Um, but he said the biggest problem they've had has been getting grease. And this is the other thing when I was at, tra after I talked to him, that's when I went down the tractor supply and, um, their grease aisle was like cleaned out too. And, and what they do have, uh, is went, 
like some of these cases like this are like $80, $79.99 now, $80 a case for, I think there's what, 10 tubes? Yeah, 10 tubes of grease in there, so it's up to like $8 a tube. Um, so anyways, if you're, if you're an owner-operator, uh, my advice uh, would be, you know, get yourself, if you can find a cheap case of grease, I'd go ahead and grab that up. And um, I would probably, uh, you know, try to get, you know, maybe 20 gallons of oil or something just to have, you know, for two oil changes just to have on hand. If you can get it, if you see it out there at a decent price, um, I'd probably grab that up and, you know, that might get you through a couple months to see what happens here. Because evidently, when I'm hearing it, if I hear it from one source, okay, it is what it is. But when I'm going to three, four, five places and I'm getting the same story and, and the same looking at the shelves and seeing what's going on, then it seems like it actually is an issue. So, um, so I just want to share that with you guys. And I think that's going to be kind of the next uh, problem here in the industry um, for, for us, you know, smaller guys that are guys that are using the gallons and the uh, five gallons and whatnot. Um, it seems like they're either trying to push everybody to 55 gallon drums and raise the price to $15 a gallon for those or, or more. Um, so just kind of be advised. So that's pretty much all I got for today, guys. Just want to pass it on. And um, so like I said, if you see that oil out there cheap, uh, your, your favorite brand, the Shell, Delvac, Chevron, whatever, um, I'd probably at least, you know, grab up at least an oil chain's worth, maybe two oil changes worth and have it on hand. Um, that way it might be a little bit of a cushion or whatnot. So anyways, I'll uh, end it with that. I uh, hope that helps you out. Um, like I said, if you guys are new, subscribe. Um, we appreciate that. Um, like the video and uh, hit the bell for the updates and all that. So you guys are always seeing the new stuff we're putting out. Um, with that, we appreciate all the support and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.